Welcome back to the channel. I'm Greg. I'm Des. And today we are doing Galaxy Quest. Now you have never seen this. Never seen it. <clears throat> I have. I have worked in film and TV now for long enough. I get asked many times if I have a favorite movie. While I can't say this is my favorite movie, I do think this might be the most perfect movie ever made. Really? I will firmly say that and defend it at the end, but that's all I want to say about it. I know that Galaxy Quest has an amazing cast. Mm -hmm. Tim Allen at the front. We have Sigourney Weaver. Mm -hmm. We have Alan Rickman. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Shalhoub. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones I remember. Sam Rockwell. Okay. But you know what the movie's about. I know the trailer. Yeah, I, re I remember the trailer. A group of cast members from a TV show that has long since been off the air and real aliens <laughs> are aware of their existence okay. and i think that all that that all was in the trailer no, other than was. that I, okay no idea what i'm in for here <laughs> we are alive the 80s hair that grub thaws how much we live hi alan all systems are working commander <laughs> I don't like it. His hair. That mullet is great. Yeah. This is giving me such flashbacks. I love Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, like, then you... Like, loved... Then this was made. It's a cold meltdown, sir. It can't be stopped. Tony! Sir, <laughs> 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 Never give up. Never surrender. Never give up. Never surrender. Sir? Oh. This is like a super genius kid. A little Wesley Crusher. Activate. The Omega-13. That's a great shot. Yeah, the aspect changing yes. too is nice. Oh, it's a specific Galaxy Quest convention. Well, that makes sense. Oh, look at them all in the costume. Oh my god, who's that guy in the front? You're amazing. Oh, that's Sam Rockwell. Yeah. Since it was originally aired in 1982. Yeah. Daryl Mitchell? I love Daryl Mitchell. I did a show with him. He was on the show with Carl Weathers. Oh my god! Where in the hell is he? He was the kid! Mm -hmm. Oh! He booked another appearance without us. You're kidding. <laughs> Anybody in live TV hates that. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard Richard III. Five curtain yeah. calls. And I won't say that stupid line. Well, Alex, at least you had a part. <laughs> you wouldn't even bother to ask me what I do on the show. But you had the. <laughs> what do you do? Wait, I'll think of it. I repeated the computer frame. <laughs> Your commander is on deck. Am I too late for Alexander's panic attack? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. These were just adventurers exploring space. These were friends. You are so full of it, man! Yeah. <laughs> These guys put a little set in their basement. I'm there about an hour. Stan Winston? There he goes. Alexander, wait! Grab him! Grab him! <laughs> <laughs> an old friend! Old friend! friend. You cut me out of episode two entirely. Tony Madison, <laughs> my person. <laughs> you will go out there. Nothing you say will make me. The show must go on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I want to say that stupid line one more time. <laughs> the scene behind him. You shall be avenged. Yeah. <laughs> You shall be a Ben. My fellow Questerians. Questerians. Jason! Nesbitt! Never give up! Never surrender! All I hear is Buzz. Yeah. <laughs> All I hear is Buzz Lightyear. Wow. He's like separated on a pedestal. I want to thank you for that nice intro you gave us today. Um, Guy. I was on the show in 82, episode 81. <laughs> Can we can sit in and uh, sign a couple autographs. I shall avenge you. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping Sam gets transported into space with them. <laughs> I gotta admit, they really do love him. Yeah, almost as much as he loves himself. He did sit down with them Excuse and sign signing me, autographs. Oh! <laughs> I was wondering if uh, you could help settle the dispute. Baby Justin. Me. If you remember uh, in Quasar Dilemma... Excuse me for a minute, fellas. Oh, that guy, the tall kind of guy's in a lot of stuff, too. Lots well, of sitcom stuff. I got the feeling that you and the commander... The commander and I never had a thing. Well, that's her story. <laughs> Gwen! 
Oh my god! Yeah. Commander. Excuse me. I must speak to you. It is a matter of supreme importance. We Mm -hmm. Um, oh my god, why am I blanking out his name? He is in so he's Veronica Mars' dad. Oh my god, I'm blanking out his name. And Dwight from the office. And I was just gonna say it's Dwight from the office too, but then and then the girl. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Oh my god, I'm blanking on everybody's <laughs> name right now, it's pissing me off. It's catching. Those are the aliens. Yeah. He looks more like Bill Hader there though. He does. This is gonna bother me. I need to look at IMDb. What a freak show, man. Did you check out Nesmith? He has no idea. He's a laughing stock. Aww. Oh, come on, come on. The Galaxy Quest dancers are always there. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't mind watching the dancers. Aww. He's a lefty. Yeah, I guess. As I was saying, uh, just in the police again. Dilemma, remember you used the auxiliary of <laughs> We were wondering just where the air lies in that. Sam Brace is on. <laughs> Thanks. So. There's no goddamn ship. I mean it, Alex. I've never seen him lose it like that. Not to a fan. What? He hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it so much, but he can't take it off. I've definitely been to this house <laughs> and shot here. We. Is this just the kiss, kiss, kiss bang, bang, bang? Yep. House. Yep. I think it might have been. Yep. Yeah, I've shot here. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say it's the alien guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Not at all concerned. Yeah. These random people have found your home. Oh my god. He does do hungover very well. I can smell the alcohol from here. Sir, I understand this is a terrible breach in protocol. <laughs> yeah, I should have come to my house. You do our last hope. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should get some pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like to do but these But come into my house. Yeah. I must say that standing here in your presence <laughs> is the greatest honor we could ever have hoped to achieve in our lifetimes. Would you guys look for another shoe that looks like this, please? Oh. <laughs> I love looking up. I am Lank, Senior Requisition Officer. Assistant to the Senior Requisition Officer? Yeah, but I haven't told you my salary yet. Go. Eighty thousand dollars a year. Doesn't she talk? <laughs> Her translator is broken. <laughs> Okie doke. <laughs> I'm gonna just shut my eyes for a bit. Go on. <laughs> Listen to everything you say, okay? And it was in this time of dissension that Where's the rest of the crew? Commander. Oh my god, the drool. So he has no idea because he passed out. <laughs> so he just thinks he's on a set. Sir, Ceres has moved the deadline. We are uh, we are approaching his ship at the Nye Delta now. <laughs> oh, her translator got fixed. I got most of it in the car. Ceres is the bad guy, right? That's an awesome ship. I have just received word the Thermians have appointed a new commander. And this is why we have Stan Winston what? on this movie. Hmm? The costume designer. Did like the Predator. Did a whole, all the Jurassic Park stuff. Creature effects, I guess. Oh. In low power mode, but we are. He still has no idea. Yeah. You know what I could use is a cup holder and a couple of Advil. Command to slow. Uh, set it on screensaver two. <laughs> ah. <laughs> they bring a new commander. I mean, you know, it looks. Demands. And if I do not hear what I like. Real. <laughs> real. First, ah, I require <laughs> the Omega Thirteen. <laughs> Second, <laughs> I will require. Now let's fire blue particle cannons full, red particle cannons full. That should take care of old lobster head, shouldn't it? Lobster. Oh my god. The way they move and walk. Yeah. It's just fucking great. Time to get back to Earth, kids. But what if Sarah survives? Oh, I doubt I gave them both barrels. <laughs> An interstellar Vox. How can we thank you, Commander? <laughs> Q. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This makes me love him even more as an actor. That's great. Hey! Where's my limo? Oh. What? Does he get it? Yeah. Or is he <laughs> <laughs> If he wasn't, he gets it now. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Oh, 
here at Tech Value Electronics Superstore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just loving it. By Grabthar's hammer. What a savings. <laughs> Just the pain right. in every syllable. Yeah, let's hear it through the NSEA protector. Yeah, it's it's done with the Omega Search. Oh, my okay? apologies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now he's going to look like an idiot to the rest of the, the team because he brought a fake one and now Justin Long has the real one. Guys, I was there. I was up there. <laughs> Those people dressed like aliens? They were aliens, they were termites or, or Dalmatians. <laughs> I can't really remember because I was kind of hungover. I got to fight this guy named Sarah and I kicked his ass. They gave me this. <laughs> but, but can you talk to people in space on those? Protector, this is the commander. I said it's time to go. This isn't mine. Where's that kid? Begging your pardon, commander. We come with so news. Saris lives to Tell make him. an escape. However, he has Saris. contacted us. Just saying words. I implore you to come negotiate the terms. This is amazing. You want me back and I want you guys to go with me, please? Th don't even think about it. Let's go. Alexander, this is not, I'm not kidding here. This isn't some kind of prank. You know me and I'm a lot of things, but am I crazy? You know, it's one thing to treat us this way. It's another thing to do it to your fans. She's not a fan. This is a, this is a termite. <laughs> I didn't know you could get that loaded. I think we should have just taken the game. Who knows the next time you'll ask us. He was drunk. You really think he was talking about a job? <laughs> Got it. But you live with your mother. Oh my god. <laughs> all of you wish to go to the ship? You see, we work together. Or not at all. Protector, requesting four interstellar. What? Me too. Five <laughs> pods for immediate <laughs> departure. I look forward to meeting you all in person when you arrive at the ship. Oh my god. <laughs> Anybody got any change? She's always eating. She said five. He got one too. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's got a hurl. Where's Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> Nobody's hurled yet. What? <gasps> <laughs> Not even one of his pants? Come on. <laughs> oh, that's their. Our most sincere apologies. We forgot about our appearance generators. Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> that was a hell of a thing. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mathazar. Mathazar, this is uh, my crew. Talk to Lazarus. <laughs> Lieutenant Madison. Lieutenant Madison. <laughs> I feel like I just don't repeat. Yeah. Young Laredo, how you've grown. <laughs> His squints. Guy. Guy. You know us? Since we first received transmission of your historical documents. You've been watching the show from out here? We have modeled every aspect of our society from your example, and it has saved us. Would you guys like to see the ship? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, my God. It's like being on Star Tours. Yeah. It's real. I feel like they're all going to go back, except for Alan Rickman. He's going to stay. <laughs> Him or Tony Shalhoub stays behind. What have you got us in? What the hell is going on? What are we doing? Wow, the floors are so clean. We're just too... <laughs> it's no big deal. We have to get out of here. We are actors, not astronauts. You guys want to go home? You guys want to leave? Look at Guy. <laughs> the main merricks. Whoa. At ease. It's like throwing gasoline on a flame. <laughs> Rockwell has not stopped smiling. What? I'm just jazzed about being on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Tony? Some of the crew has requested to be present at this historic event. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no pressure, huh? I'm glad I ain't the commander. <laughs> Laredo, take us out. <laughs> <laughs> they designed those controls after watching you pick her out. Right. Hmm. Right. Right. 
Oh my god, Sigourney Weaver is awesome in this. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna go backwards first. Just thinking, fuck, I shouldn't have right. messed around. I should have done real moves. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> that, that way? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna move to the right. Move more to the right. Yeah. <laughs> I love the debris, the floating debris is great. Okay. Love it. <laughs> Just a love scratch. Wait, is she married? It did look like it, right? Right. How are you enjoying your steak, Commander? I'm really enjoying it. We programmed the food synthesizer for each of you based on the regional menu of your birth. Oh! <laughs> Are you enjoying your Ketmot blood ticks, Dr. Lazarus? Just like Mother used to make. You know what? I, I've learned to like steak. Can I get some of that? Tell me, Mother's up. He's just got spaghetti. It's like blue, though. Yeah. What does he want? <laughs> you heard about the device, the Omega-13. What does it do? We don't know. Is this like the last episodes? They don't even know? Oh, we don't know what it does either. Well, why don't you just turn it on and see what it does? <laughs> <laughs> The device would act as a molecular explosive, causing a chain reaction that would obliterate all matter in the universe. Has Sarah's ever seen any of the historical records? No, thank God. How does he know about the Omega-13 device? I am sorry, you deserve to be shown. If you have any mercy within you, please, let me die. You shall die! <laughs> Sarah Rockwell's still smiling. Yeah. Guy, I'm sorry. Guy is still smiling. <laughs> Yep, time to go. We gotta prepare the pods for my crew's departure. I think Tony's staying behind when they go back. Saris will surely detonate any objects leaving the ship. Your presence is required on the command deck. What is in the bag, Tony? What's in the bag? <laughs> it's in the box. <laughs> right? I think he took leftovers. We meet again! Come back! <laughs> How you doing? Better than my lieutenant. Oh! He failed to activate the ship's <laughs> neutral armor as quickly as I hoped. Deliver the device to me, or I will destroy your ship. You know, okay, it's yours, you can have it. You have to give me a minute to put it in a box for you. <laughs> or Tony's paper bag. I've dealt with this guy before. He's as stupid as he is ugly. It's still on. <laughs> it's in everything we can, have, all right? Jason. <laughs> Not now, Gwen. He's there. <laughs> Heard be back on everything. Well, I'm trying to tell you, you are. Perhaps I'm not as stupid as I am ugly, Commander. <laughs> gave you the kill gesture. No, you gave me the word dead signal. I was agreeing <laughs> with you. Th there's a red uh, thingy <laughs> moving toward the green thingy. I think you're the green thingy. I think we're the green thingy. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. Teeny tiny compared to that shit. Mm -hmm. Thrust ahead! That is one wicked eye patch. Yeah. I've always stayed press the turbo, right? I said it! Ready? <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Enemy is matching velocity! We're out of the fast <laughs> I'm repeating the darn computer. Yeah. They're telling me the uh, generators won't take it. The ship is breaking apart and all that. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> We've gotta stop! Get out, hold the turbo down, it's a quick boost! Oh, like you know! <laughs> oh! I remember that sound. That's a bad sound! You might be able to lose it in, in this cloud here. I don't think that's a cloud. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just crawling under the desk. Patience, Lieutenant. Everything about that whole creature effect is awesome. The way that the shoulder pads move, his head things move, his eye patch. Getting a little teenage mutant ninja turtle vibe from him. Yeah. 
<laughs> the screams oh are the best God. part. <laughs> Movie's over. What'd you think? Everybody all right? Where's Tommy? Could've been an episode over. They could've been introducing each one as an episode. You all right? No, I'm an honest friend. I don't touch it! <laughs> Take him to medical quarters. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Where are you going? To see if there's a pub. <laughs> hey. Fair. Why don't we have the only one that can The Beryllium Sphere has fractured under stress. It's fractured. Under stress. <laughs> Computer, can it be repaired? Damage to Beryllium Sphere, irreparable. <gasps> you broke the ship. You broke the bloody ship. Computer, is there a, a replacement Beryllium Sphere? Computer. Is there a replacement beryllium sphere? Negative. Uh. No, we have no extra beryllium sphere. That is really getting annoying. I have one job on this lousy and ship. It's stupid, only. but I'm gonna do it, okay? Oh my god, there's like blood on the wall. A thousand apologies. The fault must lie with us. Did you make any TV shows on your planet? The historical documents. We have begun to document our history from your example. They're not all historical documents. Surely you don't think that Gilligan's Island is a... <laughs> Those poor people. <laughs> is there no one on your planet who behaves in a way that's contrary to reality? We have only recently become aware of this concept. They're so innocent. But if you are saying that any of you could have traits in common with Saris, <laughs> we found some beryllium and we might be able to get there what do you think we'll do that <laughs> it's right again it's come on group hug <laughs> i am so very humbled to stand in your presence i have lived my life by the code of the maktar oh good that's very nice. <laughs> My grab thar's hammered. Don't do that. I'm not kidding. Okay, For a little away mission. I have programmed it to the coordinates of a brilliant sphere of sufficient density. They should not be left alone. You're doing good, Tommy. <laughs> Just eating cheese sticks. I changed my mind. I don't want to go back. After the fuss you made about getting left behind. That's what I thought. I was the crewman that stays on the ship and something is up there and it kills me. But now I'm thinking I'm the guy who gets killed by some monster five minutes after we land on the planet. You're not going to die on the planet, guy. And what's my last name? I don't know. Nobody knows. Do you know why? Because I die. My character isn't important enough for a last name. <laughs> you have a last name. Do I? Do I? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the time of his life. Yeah. Oh my god. He's just so good. Yeah. Don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a point. <laughs> Seems okay. <laughs> He's still holding his breath. This way. Wait. No. <laughs> That way. You know, with all that makeup and stuff, I actually thought you were smart for a second. <laughs> Must be some sort of mining for smart. Well, something bad happened here. Yep. <laughs> and it's about to grab you. There they are. Beryllium spheres. Let's go. Do you remember how to get back to I the ship? I was just going to say, <laughs> that led you to the spheres. <laughs> what leads you back to the ship? Be the miners. Sure. I mean, they're like three years old. <laughs> miners, not miners. <laughs> you lost me. You are so cute. Mm hmm. In a second, they're gonna get me, and they're gonna get ugly somehow. <laughs> and there's gonna be a million more of them. There's a little hurt one. <laughs> yeah, no. Hi. <laughs> Hi, there's a guy. Did you guys ever? <laughs> You're gonna help the little hurt one. <laughs> Just some light cannibalism. Yeah. Nothing to be alarmed about. Let's get out of here before one of those things kills God. <laughs> <laughs> going anywhere without a brilliant spear. Tommy, get up on that ridge, and if you see him come back, give me a signal, all right? Why does this sound so familiar? Episode 81. 
We're doing episode 81. What difference does it make if it's episode 81 or not? He died. Because I died. <laughs> <laughs> episode 81! <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Magic is wearing a costume, not a uniform. He's no more equipped to lead us than this fella. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to say no offense without it being offensive. Yeah. Here's the plan. Gwen, Fred, Alex, and I will go down and get a sphere. Tommy, your lookout. You see anything at all, you give us a signal, all right? Is <laughs> oh, the rolling help? Oh. <laughs> He's still got his bag of food. Ah, oh, Jason! <laughs> Jason! They're everywhere! They're everywhere! <laughs> I knew this was gonna kill me. warts on its tongue. Oh, oh, they didn't need hey, it. Uh, uh, uh. Jason, we're gonna use the digital conveyor to get you out of this. You may have to get diced into cubes. Right. Right. I think I'll take my chance with Gorignac. Oh, they're gonna beam them both up. It's perfectly safe. It has never been successfully and then gonna, tested. And they're gonna like mash up. He's gonna be like a mix. But now that Tech Sergeant Chen is here, he can operate it. It's very exciting to watch the master at the controls. Stand back, Jason. Oh no, no. <laughs> I heard some squealing or something. Or something. Everything's fine. <laughs> but the animal is inside out. It turned inside out? <laughs> Ew. And it exploded. <laughs> if the pig lizard is gone, why are they still young Garignac? Hit the translation circuit. I don't think the pig lizard was Gorgna. He was bait. Oh, Rock? Hello. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you fight a rock. Digitize me! Yes. Am I the only one who saw that thing inside no, out no, with no, the no. eye? <laughs> not the guy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Tech Sergeant Chad. I'm Fred Quan. I'm not even, Quan's not even my real name. <laughs> Quan's not even my real name. Kill it? How do you kill rock? I know! You construct a weapon. Look around you. Can you form some sort of rudimentary lathe? A lathe! What? You're just gonna have to figure out what it was. What is its motivation? <laughs> Fred, can you hear me? Fred, are you there? I'm not that guy. Fred, you never forgot a line. You never missed the bar. <gasps> Ouch. Oh. It's not me anymore, man. You just stop trying. I know in my heart you're gonna save my life. Fred. Fred. Press the girl. <laughs> He's so staying behind with her. Fred. Oh wow. Yeah. I'd be checking things to make sure they're in the right yeah, spot. Yeah. Still. <laughs> I did it. Welcome back, Fred. Get that piece of yeah. flesh off your chest. We are back to full power. Perfect. We'll crank this sucker up, you can drop us off, and you guys can be back in your home planet before supper. It's destroyed. We are all that is left. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have raised the command deck. Mathazar. Mathazar! So why can't we reach them? What happened? Oh no. Hey, friends. Yeah. It's such a cool design. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. No, you will face just as sad as... He's all wordy. Leave him alone. Then tell me, what does it do, this Omega-13? I don't know what it does. <laughs> is it a bomb? I don't know. Do you think I'm a fool? That the commander does not know every bolt, every weld in his ship. Prepare a tear harness for the female. Oh, when, when, no! I'm not the commander! Explain. <laughs> so he knows. Yeah. 
You have all done far greater damage than I ever could. Oh, it's so sad, but probably true. Explain to him. There's no such person as Captain Taggart. I am an actor. We're all actors. He doesn't understand. Explain as you would a child. Pretend. We pretended. We lied. Oh. Yes. You understand that. We, we don't have a uh, ship. <laughs> there it is. That ship is that big. I didn't think it would be this dramatic. Yeah. It's amazing how deep this movie gets, considering what it is. It's great. <laughs> This whole world is a lie. It's difficult to explain. I am so sorry. Hmm. I would like to blow this troublesome vehicle to dust. What about my people? Far too simple a death for the son of a... Oh. Ah. Release them! Interesting how this thing moves on top of his head. Mm -hmm. Where's the happy ending, Jason? Never give up. Never surrender. You fin-headed monstrosity. Oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds to die just because of you. You raving lunatic! Sam <laughs> Rockwell's just crying. <laughs> uh oh, bye bye! <laughs> Sorry, the door's a little sticky. I'll get one of my boys up here in the camera. <laughs> Time to do some hero stuff. Computer, shut down the core. Unable. When you and I, we're gonna get to the core and shut it down manually. I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor, and unless you took a learning annex course, I don't know about learning annex. No, I don't. But I know someone who does. Oh. My God. Brendan, honey. <laughs> Garbage. Uh, just ten more minutes, okay, Ma? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? We accidentally traded boxes the other day. Okay. What's your name, son? Brandon. <laughs> I want you to know that I'm not a complete brain case. I understand completely that it's just a TV show. It's all real. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Quillic. What are you doing up there? I avoided capture by using your Mokhtar stealth haze. Where is everyone? In trouble. Alright, we're at level C hallway five. Now what? Um. Oh. My god. You know what? I'm gonna get Kyle. He knows the utility tunnel system better than anybody alive. <laughs> His face. Hi, Brandon. No time for pleasantries, Kyle. We have a level five emergency. Great, we'll get everybody online. I have just received word that the commander of the protector have escaped custody. What? That was great. <laughs> she should know from aliens. An alien. Was yeah. that a callback to that? Yeah. yeah. Or Die Hard. Or Die Hard, yeah. But a lot of sci fi stuff, yeah. but especially hers. They're dying. Man, what I'd give to see what you're seeing. You're deep in the underbelly of the Omega 13. So, does the Omega 13 like create a new planet for them? Myself and others are convinced is a matter rearranger. 13 second time jump to the past. Really not enough time to do anything of any importance. It'd be time to redeem a single mistake. Their oxygen's almost gone. I'll go in. I'll create a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> it's suicide. I'm a dead man anyway. Maybe you're the plucky comic relief. <laughs> you think about that? Are you stoned? Are you, are you stoned? stoned? <laughs> Perhaps together. The Mokhtar chant of strength. Love Quill. The rock, the rock, the rock, the rock, the rock. Yes. All right, Brandon, we're across. Now what? Straight on through the chompers. Oh. Well, screw that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely edited what she really said. Is that how it was originally? No, or? yeah, I think they cut it to get the PG. To it makes no more sense. Why is it here? Yeah. This is on the television well, show. forget it. This episode was badly written. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go now. Go! <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Commander <laughs> Chow! Whoever wrote this episode should die! <laughs> Fair. I like how uh, Sam Rockwell's zipper keeps going lower and lower. It's hysterical. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's the simple things in life you trick. <laughs> Because he never saw him. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Chris. Um, Sam's face. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> if there ever is a sequel, I hope it's to rescue the rock guy, who's now just floating in space forever. Commander Tegutessi! <laughs> 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 it's not. Let's get back to the command deck. No. Nope. I'm shot. That's not too bad. We'll get you to the medical quarters and you'll be fine. It has been my greatest honor to serve with you. I always considered you as a father to me. By Grandfather's hammer, you shall be avenged. <laughs> Still gives me goosebumps all the time. Pissed off, Rickman. How do I shut this thing down? Okay, just push the blue button. Is that it? Yeah, why? I just thought it'd be more complicated than that. <laughs> Brandon, it's not working. Brandon! Mother, I cannot stress <laughs> enough the severity of the commander's prediction. <laughs> one. It always stops at one on the show. <laughs> Wait, it's both her and Rockwell. <laughs> I love his hair. I was wondering how that thing was gonna stay on the whole time. The Thorbians can handle from here. <laughs> well, we've gotta do something with the Omega. Pedal to the metal right now! Pedal to the metal! Hey, let's go! <laughs> Are we gonna have a problem and then have to go back 13 seconds to fix it? Into the field! Can you get us closer to these mines? Closer? They're coming right at us. Return fire? No! Divert all energy to the armor! The actors are going to play war. Let me remind you, I am a general. It doesn't take a great actor to recognize a bad one. You're sweating. Armor almost gone! You fool! You fail to realize my ship will tear through yours like tissue paper. You fail to realize as my ship is dragging mines. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> the ship was a marble. A very clever deception. Deception. <laughs> Set a cost for home, Commander? Can you do that? But well, we're gonna have to go through the black hole, though. Any objections? <laughs> <laughs> we were hoping you could come with us. Aww. My people have no Commander. You. Your people have a great Commander. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Take us into the black hole. All systems are working. Before the black hole, there was an energy surge from Cyrus's ship. Let's not worry about that right now, Alexander. No, let's worry about that. Shouldn't be downstairs until we decide. Uh. Hey. Fred? Nope. <laughs> so who's gonna take him back 13 seconds? Like, yeah, no panic. Everything's normal. She's the only one that doesn't get shot. All systems are working for the black hole. Grayson, what are you doing? <laughs> it's not Fred. That's Sarah's. He's gonna try to kill all of us. Yeah. Never give up, never <laughs> Jason! I can't slow it down! The ship is too big to enter the atmosphere. We need to separate or we'll die. Crew to the secondary deck. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> what are they separating? Like, uh, the Enterprise can break off. Oh. <laughs> uh, you were close. I called Tony.
22. You call them staying behind. Oh, she's gonna go with them. <laughs> you were very close. The protector got super accelerated coming out of the black hole. We're gonna help Laredo guide it on the Vox Ultra Frequency Carrier and use Roman candles for visual confirmation. Uh, mm. All right, dinner's yeah. at seven. <laughs> well, he's outside. <laughs> Wow, they, they they assembled quite the crew. Yeah, very quick. Downtown looks a little different now. Yeah. A couple more buildings. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Hope no one was in those. I really want them to come outside, but somebody tells me they're gonna make their end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If no one died, that's this the This is the best place. galaxy <laughs> gun ever! It would be. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this at Comic-Con. <laughs> oh my god, people would lose their minds. Kenny Laredo, Tommy Weber! Look at these. People would lose their minds. Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, shooting the nerf. nerf. Quick, get the yeah. super soaker now! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Kiss the girl. The protector! True love! Oh my god. This would be the most exciting things for the fans. That's what <laughs> Okay, pull them up on stage. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Rockwell is just... And now, back again in HD. New Adventures of Galaxy Quest. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh my god, what's her name? <laughs> Change up! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Fleegman. Like, I would totally watch that show. <laughs> How good was that? Oh my gosh. Great cast. Yeah. First off, so you know. But I think a lot of more drama in it sometimes than I expected. I expected it to be full on comedy. Yeah. I think that's something really surprising for a lot of people is I think it's harder to do comedy. Yeah. Than it is to do drama. And so, like, a lot of those people that are very, like, good in drama can't necessarily transfer over. And yep. if you can do comedy, I think you have a little easier time. I mean, because comedy, you have to bring, you know, the emotions and be funny. That was good. It has, that has, yeah, it has something for everybody. Great cast, comedy, drama, action. Yeah. And there's not a wasted moment. No. Literally everything from the beginning to end pays off, that everything is set up perfectly. Mm -hmm. There's no wasted characters. Even the smallest characters get defined, you know what yep. I mean? Like they get, Quillick was in two scenes, but when he dies, like you feel it, yeah. you know? It's mm -hmm. like, oh my God. So I don't know, like I said at the top, I've been asked many times what my favorite movie is. I never say Galaxy Quest, but I always say Galaxy Quest is in, the there. perfect movie. It's, like, yeah. from writing, directing, acting, editing, music, costume, like, it just works. And it doesn't try to be anything that it isn't, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, this could have been so easy to make this just, you know, a lampooning of Star Trek fandom. And they did, yeah. but they didn't, you know what yeah. I mean? They also honor it and show that it's cool and, you know, the, the people... The Justin Long and all of his friends that are kind of like the nerdy guys that you're mm -hmm. supposed to dismiss at the beginning, they save the day at the end. It does remind me, you know, obviously of Comic-Con and how much Comic-Con has changed over the years where I think that, you know, it's still that safe space for, for the nerds, but now the nerds have kind of become cool again. I can't believe it's DreamWorks too. That's... It was one of their early ones yeah, too. Yeah, when did 90, this... this is 99? Yeah, wow. Yeah, so it's one of their first ones. Not wow. first first, but early. And like, I mean, to me, I know people love Tim Allen for other reasons, but this is why I love Tim Allen. I mean, I grew up with, obviously, Home Improvement, yep. but like, I liked Home Improvement, but like this, I didn't really get uh, into uh, the Santa uh. Claus. Yeah. And I didn't get, I was late to Toy Story. So it's like, I miss those kind of things when they happen. But like this one I watched because I was like, oh, it's sci-fi, it's Star Trek, it's whatever. I'm going to go check it out. And oh my God. I think 
as good as the cast is, every time I rewatch it, Sigourney Weaver's amazing. Every yes. little thing she does is amazing in it. Alan Rickman is amazing. Like, those two put them in their own category. Mm-hmm. But Tony Shalhoub and Sam Rockwell are just... Oh, my God. Hysterical. Sam Rockwell was so funny. <laughs> and Tony Shalhoub, I actually felt like, really played a toned back character compared to what yeah. you're used to seeing him. And it still is was just perfection. It was so good. And it's funny because... One of the ways that it's described in here says adventure, science fiction, ambitious, and yeah. then campy. <laughs> yeah. And I would actually say this wasn't that that campy. I wouldn't it say actually it's campy. was really. I wouldn't either. I yeah. would. Just, it was just a fun movie to watch. It's yes. It's it's just a really well executed concept of you know, washed up actors from a sci-fi TV show get thrown into the world, their world, and you know, will they survive? Will they sink or swim? That kind of thing. And it's just it's just great. I could just say yeah. so many good things about this movie over and over again, but I'm so glad you liked it. Yeah, it was it was fun. I'm glad I didn't know I too much. I had forgotten you were a Next Gen fan, so before yeah. we, when you said that right before we started, I was like, okay, she's going to love it. Because yeah. part of me was like, if you hate those things, maybe you're going to hate this. But like, oh I don't know because I liked it, but like I've watched this movie with other people that weren't Star Trek fans. Okay. And they seem to like it too, but you never, you know what I mean? That's like, yeah. you don't know if it's going to translate, but... All right. Well, don't forget okay. to like, comment, and subscribe down below so we can keep doing these for you. And uh, check out our Patreon where you can vote for what we watch next whenever it exists. It should exist by the time this comes out. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Find out. But uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.